Hey folks, thought I'd um, give an update. Uh, about three weeks ago, I planted grass in my front and backyards. Um, so I just thought I'd tell you, show you how it's coming along. As you can see, I've got some pretty good grass growing. Um, so the first thing I did is I took my tractor and I box bladed uh, the front and backyards, completely ripped up all the grass. Everything that was there, I just completely redid it all. After I box bladed, um, you know, the, the, the yard, I uh, rented an aerator, uh, plugged the yard. Um, I did a pH or a soil test that I just bought from Lowe's, just a little kit, and um, found that the front yard was low in iron and leaves falling anywhere. And the, uh, both the front yard and the backyard was uh, really low in nitrogen and phosphorus. Uh, so it, it needed fertilizer. So based off of that, I used, uh, I bought some Kentucky 31 tall fescue because uh, that's a good cool weather grass. And then I went to uh, Southern States and I got uh, fertilizer. I think it was uh, 2424 and, and had a really low number of uh, potassium. I can't remember, maybe five or 10 or something. It's pretty low, pretty high in phosphorus, high in nitrogen. Um, so I, I, I spread, it, spread the uh, fertilizer, spread the ironite, spread the uh, grass seed pretty heavily and I bought some straw bales, spread the straw bales, as you can probably see in the previous video. Maybe I'll put a clip in there. The grass has really come in really well. I mean, there's a lot of leaf cover. I, I did mow it for the first time yesterday, or let's see, two couple days ago. That had been about three weeks after uh, planting the grass that I was able to mow. And I mowed it really high, like three inches high. So, uh, you can still tell it's still pretty thick, but I really wanted to chop up the leaves because we get a lot of leaf cover around here. And so um, I wanted to mulch up the leaves. And uh, over on this side, it's not coming in as, as well. I don't know why, maybe I think it gets less sun over here. And I'll, I'll take you around to the back. But this is the front yard. So it's, it's coming in really well compared to what it was before. I mean, there was absolutely no grass here whatsoever, none. And so I'm very happy with the front yard. The side yard will come in. It's just taking a lot longer. And uh, it may not even come in until I redo it in the spring. So uh, here's the backyard. And again, the, this backyard was completely um, graded up. I completely pulled up everything. And in, in the center of the yard, there were bushes and all kinds of raggedy trees and crap from the previous owner. So, um, you know, I pulled all that stuff up and replanted grass and then once I replanted or once I planted the grass um, I watered it heavily I mean I watered it probably an hour a day every day for the first week and a half and then because um, we had no rain um, so you know so I watered it pretty heavily stayed on top of that and then uh, after about a week and a half I um, started slowing down on the water and I cut it down to about 40 minutes a day and I, of course, you know, per section. So I'd set my timer, let it run 40 minutes, and then I'd move it around to make sure everything got covered. So, um, you know, now I'm down to probably watering every other, every two or three days. Um, you know, we got some good rain in today and, and a day or two of rain one day last week. So a couple of days that I didn't have to actually um, turn the water on. But um, for the most part, when it's not raining, I'm out here watering it um, pretty heavily. So I'm gonna try to keep it going. You know, I don't know if I need to water it all through the all through the winter. I probably won't do that. It'll probably go dormant. So, um, but my plan is in the spring again, is to reseed it. Uh, I'll do another soil test to see if I need to add anything else to it. Probably add a little bit of fertilizer back in there. But uh, I mean, it's really coming in pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with it. Not, you know, usually when you see, um, you know, people planting grass videos and stuff, you never see the results. So I wanted to uh, put this video out there so you can see see what kind of results I was getting. Now, now my biggest thing is I got to keep these leaves off, off the ground because um, we get a lot of leaf cover here. As you can see there, I mean, you know, that, that stays that way all year long pretty much. But um, so I'll have to... Uh, manage the leaf situation i'll have to keep it mulched and then after i you know after i mow and mulch the leaves i don't want to take the leaf blower and blow the rest because i want that 
cut grass to stay where it is so it'll help you know feed the feed the lawn so uh i'm kind of you know leery about blowing the leaves off um right away at least right after i mow but uh you know once it dries out i'm gonna blow these leaves out before i mow again and that way hopefully the leaves will be gone and then i can use the cut grass you know to help uh continue to feed the lawn and provide nutrients for the soil so anyway that's it for the grass you know hopefully hopefully it's going to continue to grow um you know i know it's going to slow down when it gets cold but uh hopefully it's established well enough that uh it's going to remain good grass uh throughout the year so we'll see i'm pretty fortunate because it's a small lawn and it doesn't make much to keep up with but that brings me to our talk about our new property so if you've seen any of my other videos you know that we bought uh, 15 acres that we're uh, building a house and plan to move to and uh, yesterday they uh, started grading for the first time this is the first bit of work that's going on out there so uh, they started grading cutting out for the uh, the house pad and getting the driveway put in um, so pretty excited about that I went out there yesterday and met with them took a little bit of video of the uh, property uh, so I'll share that with you too and uh, so my plan is to bring you along with the whole building process is you know as far as you know the property goes and watching the house go up and all that good stuff so while I was out there you know I didn't want to get in their way so I went and walked the property a little bit and uh, you know went to check out uh, there's a nice little creek down at the bottom so went and walked down to the creek a little bit and then just checked that out because in the summertime it was so thick I couldn't couldn't access any of that easily anyway so um it's a little bit thinner now that the the uh, leaves are falling and things are thinning out so uh I'll, I'll show that video share that video with you and uh hope you can enjoy that and if you take an interest in that then uh like and subscribe and you can watch um the house video or watch the house build um take shape as as progress happens all right thanks for watching